guys, it's Jiggly Proof here. So today I wanted to talk a bit about hair because I found that since I went vegan and started moving towards more of a cruelty free lifestyle, I've kind of battled finding the right products for my hair. So this is my natural hair at the moment and it's only like this because I've been using the right products that I've found have like reduced my frizz a little bit. Usually before, when I, before I found these products and before I started taking more care of my hair, it was just like frizz. I was out here with frizz. I mean I would have done so well in the 80s. I'm a little bit jealous that I was born in the 90s. <laughs> and I found that especially if I brushed my hair, it would just frizz out and it would I would lose my like natural waviness from brushing then I'll just get this like frizz. So I've kind of found a way to reduce that frizz a little bit and let my natural waves come out a little bit more. Since using these products, my hair's also grown incredibly fast. It's like all the way down here now. It was like up here, not that long ago. So if you're also trying to grow your hair, I'd also recommend these products for hair growth. And because I found that my hair is so much more manageable, and it's growing fast, so I just had to make a video to share with you guys what's helped me in case you were all battling with trying to find the right vegan um, hair care products for you. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about was a, a shampoo bar from Lush. Um, I bought it in a tin and it's kind of like a pinky colour, like this. And the shampoo bar is called Jason and the Argan Oil. So this is what Lush says about this bar on their website. On a quest for stronger, shinier, softer hair, Try this argan oil packed rose jam scented bar. Argan oil is combined with glycerin to give your hair touchable softness and lustrous shine. Oil balances the scalp, making this bar particularly perfect for setting fair hair ablaze with brightness and strength. Even though I don't have fair hair, this is really, really good shampoo bar. Hashtag rebel. <laughs> so, as I mentioned, it smells kind of like rosish and it kind of smells like candy to be honest. It's really, really sweet and it your hair smells like that afterwards. I mean, who doesn't want sweet smelling hair? No one. So I was quite skeptical about this one at first because I kind of felt like a shampoo bar was just going to like wash away very quickly and it wasn't going to last really long and that it wouldn't um, lather up with like foam when I was trying to wash it. It would just kind of be like soap where it just like turns into goo on your skin. But it really, when I tried it the first time, I was quite impressed because you lather it on your hair and then it's just foam, it's actually like so much foam you can't even handle the foam, <laughs> which is cool. So all you do to use it is you take it out of the tin and you just scrub it all over your hair like you would a soap bar and then just lather it into your hair like you would in your washing machine normally. It doesn't come in the tin, but I recommend you get the tin because I imagine that if you don't have the tin and you kind of just let it sit on the side of your shower, you will get pink red stains. So I find that after I've washed it with this my hair feels really really soft and even in the shower as soon as I rinse it out it's like softness. So the only downside I have to this shampoo bar or luscious shampoo bars in general is that sometimes they can get stuck in the tin and then you're kind of in the shower like get out ah, like a retard. But um, yeah that's pretty much the only downside to them and I'm sure that I'm just doing something wrong as usual. <laughs> So I wanted to mention another shampoo just in case you guys battle with oily hair. I don't use this shampoo anymore because I don't have really oily hair so I find that when I use this it kind of dries my hair out and strips of its, of its natural oil. But if you guys battle with like having to wash your hair too often and having like very oily hair then I would really suggest this one from Victorian Garden. It's called Rosemary and Lime Herbal Shampoo. It says on the bottle, a beautiful citrus shampoo with ingredients chosen for their specific ability to naturally and gently extract dirt, oil and pollution from the hair shaft. The, the gorgeous scent of fresh lime makes this pH balanced mild family shampoo a great choice. So they say it's for all hair types but I generally think they should have just said oily hair because it's really not for like people with dry hair. I do love the smell of it and I do love Victorian Gardens products especially their moisturizers because they're just so natural and if you look at the ingredients they're just everything you can you understand what everything is and it's all really really good stuff and they also proved cruelty free so that's also really 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 cool I do like the smell of it as well it kind of smells minty and fresh so that if you like that fresh fresh smell when you come out of the shower like you clean and I would suggest this one I quite like the sweeter smells more but it's obviously all personal preference now we're moving on to conditioner and of course I had 
to go for Lush's Veganese Conditioner. So this is what it says on their bottle. I'm turning veganese. I think I'm turning veganese. I really think so. <laughs> Lemon for shine, seaweed for softness, and herbal infusions for your scalp. A fresh light conditioner for all hair types, not just vegans. So this one is really, really cool. Um, they use Aga Aga, which is a seaweed um, in this one. And I really think that the Aga Aga makes my hair like, really soft and smooth. It also smells really good. Kind of smells like lemony and citrusy. So it's a nice combo with the sweet argan oil one and then you get the lemony afterwards. So you do smell fresh afterwards, but it's not and it's fresh and sweet. It's not just like fresh or sweet, it's like a combo of both. <laughs> and they also say on their bottle that um, if you want a light conditioner that doesn't weigh the hair down but still gives you lots of shine and also makes your hair more manageable and less static. And I've found that a lot with this one. Um, a lot of chef, I mean, a lot of conditioners kind of like weigh my hair down and they don't give it that natural little, little fluffiness that it has um, and this one it, like smooths it out and it doesn't like weigh the hair down. The only issue I have with this conditioner is that you do have to use quite a lot of it. I think it's maybe because I have quite thick hair and then quite a lot of it but I do find that usually I would use a little like little bit on my hand and then it would last through my hair whereas this one I kind of have to like pile it on because it doesn't like go through your hair quite as well as I'd like it to. So next I'd like to move on to hair treatment and I think that this hair treatment has literally like changed my life with my hair. <laughs> so I would really 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 recommend this one. So it's called Jasmine and Henna Fluff Ease and this is what it says on the bottle. For when you don't want to look like a poodle, a pre-wash treatment to get control of fluffy untamed hair. So that like spoke to me when I read it. <laughs> I just generally looked like a poodle, so I was like, yes, this is the one. <laughs> so you put it on before you wash your hair and condition, so you leave it on for like, I leave it on for like 20 minutes before I get into the shower, um, and you just put it all over your hair and then just leave it. You do look like a bit of an idiot when you're sitting there with like, stuff all over your hair for like 20 minutes before you shower, um, <laughs> and I have quite a funny story about this one. So I put it on the other night before I went to a shower, like I usually do, for about 20 minutes. And like it genuinely looked like an idiot, but it's fine. And then I was gaming with my boyfriend. So I had my headphones on, but then you, it was sort of like getting all over my headphones. My boyfriend was like, you're an idiot. You're just getting conditioner all over your head. What are you doing? <laughs> so he was like trying to figure out something to put over my hair so that I didn't like destroy my headphones. So he finds a pair of shorts on the floor and he just puts them over my head and then puts the headphones and he was like, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so for like 20 minutes while we were trying to play games, I looked like a bit of an idiot and he could not stop laughing while we were playing. <laughs> so I would definitely suggest that you put something over your head, especially if you're playing games while you're waiting for the street to sit in. <laughs> so either use like a shower cap or something like that, or you can also put it on um, the night before and then wash your hair in the morning and then just leave it sit in your hair throughout the night. But I find that this, can, this treatment has really, really helped my hair with its frizz and just softness and it's just been incredible. I've te tested where I've used the other two Lush products and not the treatment and it does, my hair's still fine, but it's just like a million times better when I do use the treatment. So this is what they say on the back as well. Um, this mask can be used on any type of hair but it particularly suits dark or red hair types. Regular treatment will stop frizzy curly hair from drying out. So I definitely wouldn't suggest this one if you have oily hair again. Um, because I think that it definitely adds oil to your hair. So if you naturally have oily hair, it'll probably just make your hair a lot more oily. And then in terms of the smell, it kind of smells, this is not like my favorite smelling product. It kind of smells like charcoal, I suppose. It kind of smells like fire or um, something burnt. But it's, it looks really cool and it's got like little of like um, red and oranges in it so I don't, definitely don't think you should use it on like blonde hair either probably because I think it might leave your hair with a bit of a color but I'm not really sure but it works quite well on my dark hair so I say I definitely suggest it if you have dark hair so that is it guys that is all my hair care favorites for vegans and non-vegans alike anyone with like frizzy hair um, let me know what you guys like to use in the comments below, That any cruelty free products that you found that are really incredible that you think that anyone else would try. 
and otherwise I'll see you guys next time. Bye!